I just want to start off by showing you all some of the Christmas designs that I've been doing recently. Um, I just think they look super cute and I have them displayed all around my room and I just really love the way they look and I wanted you guys to see them. Before we start this video, don't forget to like, leave me a comment, and hit that subscribe button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video and you can be part of the game. So, um, what you see me doing here is just sizing my nails. Um, this, I think this was, oh no, this is not my first time using these nails, but I'm just going ahead and sizing them. And these were a little long for me, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I did just want to cut off a little bit of that excess nail, basically just a little bit under the number. And then I was just making sure that it matched up with the, the, um, the coordinating thumb on the other hand and then I'm just filing off the top to get it nice and sharp again that's all I'm doing there so I did that to all of the nails and I matched them up and made sure each nail was the same length so now I'm just dusting them off to get that dust from the filing off of them and I'm also dusting off my work area as well so now I'm taking some acetone and I'm going to clean off the tops of the nails just in efforts to remove some of that shine. And then I'm going to take this nail primer. Now, using nail primer eliminates you having to buff the nails. That just takes too much time for me and it kind of hurts my fingers. And I tried this trick out one day. Um, this is a new primer that I'm trying. So yeah, and then I'm applying a coat of base coat. This also helps with adhering the gel polish to the nails because if you don't use this the gel will peel right off of the nails and it'll be like you wasted time painting them so i just wanted to show you guys my process of when i'm planning out a design it looks a little messy but i understand it i'm taking these two beetles colors and i'm going to take the pointer finger from this hand and i'm going to paint it i'm going to paint a nail bed because i'm doing a straight across french so what you see me doing here is just going straight across with that and I'm using that as my nail bag color. And I'm just flash curing it before I go in and do the second coat. So once I have that on, I'm taking that darker brown color and I'm completing the tip of my French nail. Being really careful not to get it on the light brown part of the nail, but just keep everything in a straight line. I know you see the light, the lighter brown wrinkling. That's just because we flash cured it. Um, I'm not too worried about it though, because everything will get cured once I put it in the lamp. So I did that with both colors and now I'm just taking this top coat by McCart and I'm going to put a generous amount of that all over the nail and then stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And as you can see I had the other nail completed as well so I'm top coating that. And then I will stick the both of them in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm just wiping the sides just to preserve the general shape of the nail. So once that's cured for 60 seconds, I'm going in with this matte top coat and I'm applying that only to the darker brown tip part of the nail because I wanted that part to be matte. And at this time, I was all out of my gel matte top coat, so I just went ahead and used this regular one by Sally Hansen. A 
Okay, so I'm setting that to the side to dry and I'm taking the middle fingernail and I'm painting them with this kind of periwinkle blue color. I did two coats of that and I cured each coat for 30 seconds. Okay, so going back to those straight across French nails. Oh, wait, I decided to kind of switch up the design a little bit. And instead of having it on the ring finger and pointer finger, I decided to have it on the ring finger and the thumb. So that was all you saw me do there. I just put it on the other hand. And we're going to do a gingerbread inspired sweater design. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to take some regular white gel polish. And I'm beginning to paint the um lines for my gingerbread design these were my favorite nails in this set i almost wish i had done just a whole set just like this this design is super cute to me i was really into sweater nails like all holiday season kind of getting a little sick of them now but this was super super cute to me and i really wanted to do something gingerbread inspired just because i love like that color scheme and the brown the white the red and the green like it's just so cute to me So I went ahead and I did those two straight lines down the middle and I'm using my very, very, very small dotting tool to do a heart. I'm doing, I think, three hearts down the middle in between those. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm doing two hearts and I'm doing this kind of scattered dot design across the middle. I didn't really know what I was doing when I did this design. I kind of just went for it. So that's where these dots came in. So now you see me just drawing on my other heart. And when you're doing this, it's a lot easier, I find, to use a dotting tool than a brush. You just get a little bit more control. The lines aren't super duper straight unless you have like a really, really steady hand. But that really didn't bother me too much because we were going to be covering it up with glitter anyway. And it still came out super cute. So. so now I'm just going along the sides and I'm doing these kind of like S shapes or like... What would you call these? They kind of look like L's to me. I don't know. I'm doing them. I'm doing three of them down each side of the nail. But how was you guys holiday? How was your New Year's? Mine was super duper boring. I was actually alone for New Year's. It's a long story, but... It's pretty sad, but um, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? Let me know in the comments below. So now that that design is complete, I'm gonna move my little paper plate that I'm using out the way and I'm taking this kind of like clear fairy dust glitter and I'm taking this cuticle pusher and I'm gonna use that to um, just kind of spill it over my gingerbread design. And this is going to um, kind of harden it. It's going to make it rise up off the nail and it's going to give us that sweater effect. So just make sure you have a generous amount of that. Make sure that no area on the nail is still wet. Make sure that everything is covered in that glitter and cure that for 60 seconds. So now I'm just dusting it off. As you can see, I went ahead and did the other nail as well for the sake of time. And this is how everything looks so far. So we've got a blue nail, we've got two straight across gingerbread men nails. So now I'm taking my nail bling and I'm taking some caviar beads and I'm gonna do like a straight across type of like embezzled look. And you'll see what I mean in a second. This is my favorite bling glue, the McCart Nail Rhine, whoa, the Nail Rhinestone glue. And I'm taking a thin layer of that and making it go all the way across the nail. I love this glue because you can kind of like walk it down the nail and make it as skinny or as thick as you want it to be. I'm taking this jewel picker, which is just like a cuticle pusher with some wax on the end. Um, I'm taking this and I'm uh, putting those gems in a straight line all the way across the nail. For some reason, this was super difficult for me because like keeping the gems straight was just, I don't know why that's so hard for me. But anyway, I'm taking my caviar beads and I'm putting two of those in between each 
gem to create this kind of like bezeled, embezzled look. I know I was a little out of frame for this part, but I wanted to create like an embezzled kind of look. Um, I've really been into like caviar beads lately and elaborate bling. Um, it's a lot of fun for me. So that's what I've been, I've been doing a lot of that lately. And I definitely want to make sure I incorporated some of that somewhere within this set. Um, can you, it just looks like a piece of jewelry like going across the nail it just looks like embezzled in there I really like how it looks okay so I went ahead and I did that to both of the sweater nails and now I'm gonna get started on the index finger so I'm painting this finger all white I loved this nail you guys but it kind of got destroyed and I'll get into that later so I did two coats of that cured it 30 seconds each coat and now I'm taking this teddy bear mold that I got off of Amazon which is super cute but if you're gonna do this I recommend that you use an acrylic because my bears burst you guys like they burst open and gel polish went everywhere like the next day they burst open and they were they just got destroyed and I was really really sad about it so if you're gonna do this I definitely recommend you use either like an acrylic or a 3d sculpture gel because I don't know what it is like they just burst all the way open so I'm flipping it over to see if there's any air bubbles or anything and then I'm taking this really really skinny nail art brush and I'm just kind of pressing the polish around to make sure that there are no air bubbles and um, just pressing all that polish around making sure that everything is even and now I'm taking this angel wing mold that I also got off Amazon and I'm gonna create two angel wings and because this one is smaller I decided to just um, put the polish kind of all over it kind of messily just to make sure everything got in the mold and then I'm just wiping off the excess from off the top with a piece of paper towel and again I flipped it over made sure there were no air bubbles took my little brush pushed the polish around and then I just um, continued to do that until I was happy with the way that the wings looked And I cured both of these for 60 seconds just to make sure they were entirely cured. So my little bear is done. So I'm going to set that to the side, apply some bling glue, and then go ahead and stick my bear onto that white nail. Again, this is our index finger. So I stuck my bear onto my nail and then I flash cured it just to make sure that it didn't move. And now I'm going around the bear. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm applying some glue for the wings. I wanted to do like an angel bear, kind of. It's the angel bear that lives in the gingerbread house. Get it? Um. So yeah, doesn't this look super cute? I was so sad that the bear freaking burst and like, it was the craziest thing ever. And it, I ended up having to like file it off and it just looked like a mangled mess. Like it was so sad. So I'm flash curing the wings on there so that they stay in place. And this is what we have thus far. So I'm taking some more of that bling glue and I'm applying that over top of the bear. And I'm also taking one of these little moons to make a halo for the bear. It's an angel bear or cherub bear, whatever you want to call it. Cupid bear, maybe. All right, I'm annoying. But I'm flash curing that as well. So now I'm taking this black gel polish and that same small dotting tool that we use to create the gingerbread sweater design. I'm taking that and I'm adding detail to my bear's face. I'm sorry this part was out of focus, but I'm just drawing a little dot over the eyes and the nose. Again, just to add detail to my bear's face. And look, he's alive now. He actually looks like a bear now. And I also put it in the little like area that's supposed to be the feet, I guess. Super cute. 
Then I also took this pink, this light pink gel polish. And I wanted to put it inside of the space where the bear's ears are so that the inside of those could be cute and pink. Adorable. Okay, so bling application. I was really having trouble with the bling application for this set because I didn't want to do too much, but I wanted to do just enough. So you can see I kind of planned out my design on my little paper plate here. And I just went to work. Um, I like to flash cure in between my bling application because um, I just don't like my stones to move around. That's why it personally helps me a lot to um, map it out a little if I can on, on like a plate or some kind of surface. Um, so yeah, I just went ahead and I started placing uh, all of my gems onto the nail. And this McCart bling glue is the truth. Like, I love it so much. Like, it's easy to maneuver. It's not as messy as, like, a uh, glue that's, like, in the pot or whatever. And it holds onto your gems. Like, like, these gems did not go anywhere. So now I'm taking some white opal stones. And I wanted to make sure I incorporated those as well. I did actually end up changing this bling around a little bit, you guys, but I didn't get any footage of it, so I'm sorry, but this was my original design that I had came up with. I hope you guys like it. And yeah, I'm just adding some caviar beads in there as well because I wanted to be consistent with that other nail, um, the gingerbread nail that had caviar beads in it. So I did go ahead and add some of those to this nail as well. Yeah, I really wish I would have gotten footage of the other bling nail that I decided to create, but by the time I had made these nails and filmed this video, I was just too tired and I just couldn't be bothered. So. Yeah, I hope you guys like this design though. The gems look kind of dirty right now, but that's obviously just because we're touching them and all that other stuff. But once I'm done, I will clean them with alcohol and um, those kind of cloudy spots will disappear. Yeah, I don't know. I just felt like this didn't really go with the vibe that I was trying to go for. I was trying to go for like sweetheart, Christmas, snowy, but gingerbread vibes. So yeah, um, yeah, I decided to add some more caviar beads to that middle fingernail and that was what I ended up coming up with. And now we can move on to our pinky nail. Okay, so I went ahead and I did two coats of white gel polish for this one. And on this finger, I'm going to be doing an ombre nail, you guys. I'm going to create a more detailed video on how to ombre nails with gel polish. So I kind of sped through it here. But um, yeah, look at this. The magic of editing. Whoop. A perfectly ombre gel nail. Okay, so now I'm taking some more of that McCart rhinestone glue and applying that to kind of like the upper corner of the pinky nail because I wanted to do kind of like a cluster of different size gems on this nail. So I took this big heart um, gem. These are not Swarovskis or anything. They're just regular AB um, stones that I got off of Amazon. Um, but I like these because they have like the more bigger sizes, like those huge ones to the far right. Uh, yeah, so I just went ahead and I applied what I felt like was enough in order to create a reasonably sized cluster. And then I went ahead and I added some caviar beads for detail. And you can see kind of how everything is coming together. This nail was pretty easy to do other than the ombre just because it was just a matter of me sticking things on there and moving it around. So 
yeah um i like how it's coming together so far so that's kind of basically the gist of what we ended up with and all of our nails at this point are pretty much done all that's left to do is top coat them so that's what you see me doing here so i went ahead and i top coated the two gingerbread nail first just to get them out of the way and make sure you get top coat on those caviar beads just so that they don't tarnish so yeah um if you are gonna do this bear with gel polish just make sure you top coat it really well um, I still recommend that you use acrylic or sculpture gel because that was just crazy. Um, yeah, and this is how our bling nail ended up coming out. So then I went ahead and I top coated this nail too. Since these are not Swarovskis, it's okay to um, top coat them a little bit. And then I went ahead and I wiped down the sides again to preserve the shape of the nails. So that's what you see me doing here and then I stuck them all in the lamp for 60 seconds and this is how they turned out so I'm just filing the tops just um, to get them square again and making sure that they still fit look at this bare nail you guys oh, so cute I wanted to I almost wish I would have done like a whole set just with bare nails and gingerbread nails that would have been super cute And I'm just cleaning them off with some rubbing alcohol. And this is what we ended up with, guys. These are the nails that I wore on Christmas. Aren't they just adorable? I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram so you can be a part of the gang. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, Diva Gang.